Antonio Brown lost his grievance over the right to wear his 10 year old helmet. I'm not surprised that happened. I knew that he would not be allowed to wear that helmet. I knew that when he went to arbitration, they would tell him, no, you've got to wear the updated approved NFL helmet. I'm hoping that Antonio Brown will find a helmet that is most comfortable for him. He'll suit up for the Raiders and play. That's what I'm hoping will happen. He's one of my favorite players to watch. He's fast, he's skilled, he's dynamic, he is electrifying. I'm hoping that this issue with the helmet will not affect his play on the field. I'm hoping that he will not get upset over this ruling and let it affect his play and let it affect his teammates. He's a great player, like I said, very skilled. He's one of my favorite players to watch. I hope he just has a great season for the Raiders. I hope he's no longer a distraction to the team because eventually they're going to get tired of him. Then they're going to say, you know what, Antonio, goodbye. He, like I said, he's one of my favorite players to watch. I want to see him play and do well. And plus, the Raiders paid him a lot of money. So they're expecting him to produce and put up those great big numbers like he did when he was in Pittsburgh. And he can do it. I believe in him. I do. If he just focuses on football and stop with all the distractions, wow. Look out, man. He, he would be considered a great. But I think that all the negative stuff that he's creating around him is disturbing from his great play. And, I th and that's so unfortunate. And I, I don't want that to happen for him. He deserves his money, no doubt about it. I have no problem with him getting paid. So I'm glad he got his money. Now he's got to produce on the field. I also want to bring this up too. A lot of people are talking about the NFL should make him sign a waiver. I don't think that's going to happen. We all know how the NFL operates here. They have their rules and they want you to follow them. And they usually don't bend rules for the players. So if they have a rule, for example, like this NFL helmet rule that you have to wear updated helmets, they're gonna stick by it. They're not gonna waver from it. They didn't make an exception for Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers. They're not gonna make an exception for Antonio Brown. So I don't see them allowing him or any other player to sign a waiver. The thing is too, we all know about CTE. We know about these NFL players having head injuries and concussions and all of that. It's a safety issue. And if they do allow him to sign a waiver, then they're gonna have to allow other players to sign a waiver too, and it can get pretty tricky. At least that's how I think they're seeing it. So I don't see him signing a waiver being an option. They're not gonna allow him or any other player to sign a waiver and it just that's how it's gonna have to be but like I said I hope he finds a helmet that's comfortable for him and he just plays and shows out and I'm hoping his feet are healthy too you know my thing is those feet look pretty pretty messed up they look to be in bad shape but I'm sure he's seeking the right specialist to get his feet back on track and I don't think it'll be a chronic issue and he'll be back on that field and he'll do great things for the Raiders I truly believe that. And the Raiders fans deserve that. His Raider teammates deserve that. And I hope he gives that to them. I hope he's positive and productive from this point forward. I hope he leads the Raiders to the playoffs and makes them one of these great prolific NFL teams like the Patriots and these other teams that make the playoffs frequently. I'm expecting great things from him and I'm sure he's expecting great things from himself as well. We'll just have to wait and see what he does. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so already, just press the subscribe button below this video. Also, click on the notification bell too. That way, when I put out new content, you'll be able to get it right then and there. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful, day.